to today's loose stretch and heel video. So we're going to start off in a cross-legged position, going to your unfavoured side. Lengthening through the spine, shoulders are down, neck is long. And just connecting to your breath now. Drawing the eyes closed. Deep, even inhalations through the nostrils. Time for you to slow down, to tune in and to rebalance. So we're just in the gym, we start to circle the body, doesn't matter which way we go. And exaggerating the movement, just warming up to the hips, massaging into abdominal organs. We're getting a little stretchy to the glutes as we come down. And when you're really going back the other way. Just soaking in the beautiful worship music. New album that Zeki brought me. Feeling very lucky. But for all of us to share and to enjoy. It's the peace of the ethel album, it's really yummy. Inhaling, drawing the shoulders back and down now as we come forward. And exhaling, curling the spine. And working with your own time and your own breath. You can exaggerate that movement, really stretch out those intercostals on the back. So we're giving ourselves a full body massage. more. Deep inhalation when you're ready, coming forward and coming back up to centre, just little neck stretches here, taking that left ear to the left shoulder. You might like to take those right fingertips for a little walk. You might like to give the right temple a little massage. I like to flex the palm, just find what option suits you. If you want a little bit more, taking the right fingertips up to the shoulder, deep in the stretch. We're just aiming for a beautiful neck stretch here, so just tuning in. Find what feels good for you today. You might like to drop the chin down a little bit. Just exploring the pose, just exploring the stretch. Releasing, coming back up through centre, we'll go the other side. Right ear to right shoulder. Might like to take the left fingertips for a walk now. Might like to give the left temples a little massage now. Might like to flex that left palm. You might like to take the left fingertips up to the left shoulder. Just focusing on the breath. I like to drop the chin down a little. Just doing what feels right for you. Take a deep inhalation, take yourself to the edge of the pose, and on the exhale, coming back up through centre, take notice which one's your right arm now, we're going to take the arm up, dropping the head back, and on the exhale, drawing the chin down to the chest, taking hold of the right wrist, and pulling it across to the left, keeping the hand nice and soft. 
going to use the weight of your head to push the arm back a little bit. You don't want to be too straight, you don't want to be bent. Just long as you're doing a beautiful stretch. Deep inhale. And on the exhale, we release. Exaggerate that movement, drawing the arm right across the body now, taking hold of the wrist, drawing it in. Drop that right shoulder down, lifting the hand, and turning our head to the right. Deep, even nostril breath. No rigidity in the fingers. Can we drop the right shoulder down a little bit more? Can we lift that left hand up a little bit more? Only if that feels right for you. Deep inhale. Push yourself a little bit more on the exhale. We release the hand around behind the body now. Little hello fingers, taking that left hand around towards the left, the right elbow. Dropping the shoulder down and head to the left. If your hand doesn't make it to the elbow, anywhere along the arm is fine. Can we drop that right shoulder a little bit more? Can we turn to the left a little bit more? Deep inhalation. And on the exhale, we release. We scoot the right hand up now. We're going to take the hand down our back, bringing our hand up to the elbow. And a tricep stretch. Staying there if that's right for you. If you want a little bit more, you can grab your strap or bands, or you might like to take your fingertips to touch. Not beating ourselves up. It's not a race to get to fingertips touching as long as you're getting a tricep stretch. That's all we're after. Staying here if that's right for you. If you want a little bit more, come with me. Deep inhalation, lock one, lock two, lock three. Squeeze the muscles of pelvic floor, belly back and spine to the tongue. The root for the mouth as we come forward. Little prayer, little head butt for the room we're in. For the people in our homes. Lots of love and gratitude. And we're going to release now and go on the other side. Left hand up. Deep inhale. Exhaling, chin down to the chest. Taking hold of the left wrist now. Drive it across to the right. Just finding your stretch. If you want that little bit more, using the weight of your head to push the arm back a touch more. Soaking in the worship. Keeping the fingertips light. Deep inhalation, push yourself a little bit more on the exhale, we release, taking the arm around and across the body now, taking hold of the left wrist, drawing the arm and dropping that left shoulder down and looking to the left. That beautiful shoulder and neck stretch. Might like to lift that hand a little bit more, might like to drop the shoulder a little bit more. Soft fingers. No rigidity in our bodies, no rigidity in our mind. Deep inhalation. And on the exhale, release. Taking the hand around behind the body now. Right hand to the left elbow. Bring the hand across to the right. Taking your gaze over the right shoulder. Gently, lovingly, keeping the eyes drawn down. Can we drop the left shoulder a little bit more? Can we turn over the right shoulder a little bit more? Deep breath in. And on the exhale, release. 
reaching the lift hand up now, dropping the hand down our spine. Right hand to the lift elbow. Finding your stretch. Staying here if you've got long arms today, you might like to take the right hand around. You might like to use the weight of your head to push the top arm back. Staying here if you want to come with me, deep inhale, lock one, lock two, lock three for protection, squeezing through the core and on the exhale we come down, little press. Using the core nice and strong to come back up. And releasing beautiful work. So we're going to take the legs wide now. Oh, I haven't stretched out for a while. This feels good. Again, just having a little bit of a play around. You might like to pull the junior bit of your bottom out. Be nice and stable on your sit bones. Deep inhale as we bring the hands into the heart centre and stretch up nice and tall. Now flexing the feet. We turn to over the left leg, and on the exhale we come down, lock one, lock two, nice and strong. And when you find your stretch for today, bringing your hands down, giving yourself a little foot massage here, or you might like to massage anywhere along your legs or your knees. Might like to do a little prayer if we've got sore knees, sore ankles, sore feet. Just spending this time here now. Staying long through the spine. Just staying here if you like, if you want a little bit more deep inhalation, lengthening. And on the exhale, curling down now. Only if that feels right for you. They like read about what God loves about us today to help pass the time. Just focusing on your deep, even nostril breath. God loves the way you bloom. Luke 12, 27. Consider how the wild flowers grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. Every flower starts with a seed and every beautiful bloom begins in the dirt. So when your heart is hard from the difficulties of this world, when you're covered with the muck and mire of mistakes, that's not the time to give up. That's the time to give in, to surrender completely to God and His perfect plan. Because He is the master gardener. Just look at the wildflowers. No king ever wore such splendor. Give God your hardened heart with all its messiness and let Him help you bloom. Oh, that was a really nice one. All right, we'll take a deep inhalation. Push yourself that little bit further. And on the exhale, we'll gently walk the hands back up. Slowly, slowly. Coming back through centre, hands to the heart centre. So we flex the feet, deep inhale. On the exhale, we turn to the right and we start to come down, flexing those feet, protect the knees. And when you find your stretch today, bring your hands down, a little bit of love, a little bit of massage. Working at these hamstrings, help the lower back pain. Long through the spine. Staying here if you'd like. If you want a little bit deeper, come with me. Deep inhalation, lift and lengthen. And on the exhale, curling down now, really surrendering into your mat. Just letting the hamstrings open up as the body's warming up. So on this side, God loves your scars. 
Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Scars. Everyone has them. Some are visible. Others invisible. But no less deeply felt. Some scars of the skin. Others are scars of the heart. There are those who will take your scars and use them as a reason not to love you, not to be your friend. They can make you feel less than, damaged, broken, unworthy, but not God. God sees your scars, even the invisible ones but he uses them as a reason to lavish you with his healing love. He uses your brokenness to draw you close to him and to make you whole. Oh, that's a really good one. Thank you, Lord. Deep inhalation as you take your stretch a little bit deeper. And on the exhale, gently walking the hands back up now. Beautiful work. You might want to give yourself some karate chops get those little legs moving again. And we'll take the hands behind us and just some gentle six, seven, and nine legs. Just side to side. Just a little release for us. Oh, beautiful work. So we're going to come onto our hands and knees now. Oh, good song. So in love with Selvin. So we're going to inhale. And we're going to exhale, rounding up through the spine, lock strong here, just working with your own breath. Taking the stretch as deep or as light as you like. Now let's give yourself a little arm workout with the bend to the arms. Inhaling forward as we stretch through the front of the body, stretching through the throat, stretching through the tummy. And on the exhale, lock one, lock two, lock three, really strong for that warmth in the body. Stimulate the metabolism. Beautiful work in our cat and cow flow. Alright, when we're ready, we're going to come back to neutral to the tabletop. Take the knees wide and we'll come into our child of God stretch. Child of God relaxation. Just sinking heavy into your mat. If it's too much for you down here, you can use pillows or blankets just to prop your little hips up a little bit more. Now this is a nice resting pose. You can come down to it any time in our next little sequence. If you feel a bit shaky through your arms or you're just wanting to take it back a notch. Alright, on the inhale, we're going to start to come forward now. Yeah, exaggerating that roll through the spine and exhaling back. Warming the body up. Might have a little bit of creaking and crunching, but that's okay. Just gently warming the wrists up here as well. Deep inhalation, coming forward, little back bend, massage into that lower back, and we'll come back through our tabletop. So we're going to come into our little dolphin stretch now, coming down into our elbows, tucking the toes under, and on the next inhale, we're going to scoot our little bottoms up, and just pedal through the feet. Might like belly button to spine here as well, protecting the back. You find you just start to do it naturally after a while anyway. Stay nice and soft through the neck. Alright, feet hip width apart. Deep inhalation, tilt through the pelvis. On the exhale, sinking the heels down. Deep air, use a nostril breath. Coming down to your cat and cow, your child's pose if you need. You want a little bit more, take notice which one's your left leg. And we're 
going to scoot those left toes up to the ceiling, up to the sky. Giving headlights on our hips, facing down to the earth. Deep inhalation, push yourself a little bit further. And on the exhale, bring the foot down, hip width apart. Deep inhalation, scoot the right leg into the air now. That deep in the stretch of the left hamstring. We're strong pose, we're strengthening our arms too. Deep inhalation, push yourself a little bit more. Make that on the roof, strong those toes up a little bit more. And on the exhale, bring the feet back down. Bring our knees wide, hip width and mat width apart, and coming into our child or God pose. Just resting back heavy. Alright, coming back up to our tabletop posture when you're ready. So you can come back into your dolphin flow. You've got cat and cow to choose from if you'd like to. Tuck the toes under and come with me into our blissful doggy. Deep inhale, we stretch the hips right up now. Straightening through the arms. And peeling the legs. So we want to spread the fingertips wide here and press through the middle finger. Helps activate the hands so we're not dumping into the wrists. Coming down at any stage that you need. Feet hip width apart. Working with the breath now. Deep inhale, draw the breath up through the back of the hamstrings, tilt the pelvis. And on the exhale, draw the forehead and the heart closer down to the mat. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. No, taking the armpits away. Pushing through that center finger. And if it's too much on your wrist, too much anywhere, just come down. It's a very strengthening and stretching posture. So good for us. Taking notice which one's our left leg. We're going to scoot the leg up to the ceiling. A few breaths here. We're going to take a deep inhalation. We're going to swing the leg through to the front of our mat now, but we're going to take it wide of our left hand. So deep inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to draw the foot forward and take it to the outside of the hand. Feel that beautiful lunge. It's a little bit much for you. You can drop the back knee down, do whatever feels right for you. And you want to take the foot out on a 45 degree angle here. And staying here if that's right for you. If you want a little bit more, coming down onto the forearms. This hip opening stretch for us. Staying here if you want a little bit more of a flow. On the inhale, we're going to take the left hand up. And on the exhale, draw it through. A little bit of a thread the needle, working in your own time. It's nice and fluid in our movement. Last one, deep inhalation, stretch it out. And on the exhale, coming back through centre, taking the weight back into the hands now. And we're going to step the foot back into our little doggy stretch and we'll walk it out. Quite a strong hip stretch for us there, so a few variations. We've got to mix our practice up a little bit. Grounding down now, taking notice which one's your right leg. Deep inhales, we scoot it up to the ceiling, up to the sky. Focusing on the breath. Deep inhalation. From the exhale, we're going to bring the foot forward onto the outside of that right hand now. Shoulders back and down, dropping the knee down if you need. Come 
come down into forearms, making sure the foot's out on a 45 degree angle. Visualize the hip just melting open. Staying here if that's right for you, or you might like to come with me, taking the right hand up now. And on the exhale, releasing the little flow for us. Stretching out our hips if we've got any jaw tension. So good for lower back pain too. Deep inhale. And on the exhale, bring the hands back through centre. And we're going to take the foot back to a little blissful doggy. And when we're ready, bring the knees back down. Taking them wide, sinking back into our child of God relaxation. Just letting the nice blood pump through our body. through our tabletop now and we're just going to do a little c-shaped spine contracting through the left side left shoulder to left hip and now right shoulder to right hip and we contract through one side of the body giving yourself a massage while stretching out the opposite side working in your own timing and when you're really coming back to neutral, we'll do our little circles now. It doesn't matter which way we go. Just feeling nice and fluid. And when you're ready, back the other way. now coming to our nice side taking the stance a little bit wider if that feels right for you we're going to sit bones shoulders back and down and we'll turn the head over the left shoulder do our three big nods and say aloud to, our, to ourselves I'm a child of God yes I am and we're all nodding because we agree and when you're ready, join the chin across the chest. Over to the right side. Three or four big nods and saying aloud it to yourself. Jesus loves me. Yes, he does. And we're all nodding because we agree. Join the chin across the chest now. Go from side to side. I like to push the tip of the tongue in your roof of the mouth if your neck's feeling a bit compromised. When you're ready, big rainbow arts now. Paintbrush on the end of your chin. From the beautiful rainbow.
come back to a center, resetting, making the head super heavy. And going back the other way. Thanking God for all he has done for us in our life. Back up through centre, shoulders down, neck is long, beautiful work. So we're going to take the feet together now, we'll do our little butterfly. We're going to flap our butterfly wings, so take hold of our feet. Now this is the one posture where we don't have to use our locks, so we call it Christmas lunch belly. So let it all hang out and flap those butterfly wings. So just watch out on your knees on this one. If your knees are a little bit sore, again, just doing whatever feels right for you. You might need to be sitting on some blankies, sitting on some pillows. Using anything you can. You might need to sit on a book. Drawing the eyes closed. This is really good for um, cleaning out our know, kidneys, re-detoxing for the body. Getting everything moving. So we're going to start flapping our butterfly wings. So we are going to apply our locks again as we inhale. Lock one, drop the muscles of the pelvic floor. Lock two, belly button to spine. Lock three, tip of the tongue and the roof of the mouth as we open up through the heart center. And on the exhale, we start to draw the chin down to the chest and round off through the spine, keeping those locks strong. You might like to use your elbows to push your knees down, your legs down a little bit more. That beautiful stretch through the scapula, through the rhomboids, through the intercostal muscles. Feel that heat in the body with our locks, stimulating that metabolism. Getting the body to warm up with these postures in this colder weather coming through to winter. Deep inhale. And on the exhale, we're slowly going to roll out of the pose. Step by step, keeping those locks strong to the very end, curling the shoulders back and down, opening up through the heart centre. And on the exhale, releasing now our Christmas dinner bellies and we'll flap our butterfly wings. As we're calming for our tummies. Beautiful work. So we'll just bring our feet back in now. And we've done a really good full body stretch out here. So you might like to do any other stretches that's resonating with you today. But thank you for taking this time for you to look after your body. It's the best thing you can do for yourself. We're going to look after our bodies so we run like well with machines, like taking a car to the mechanic, even when it doesn't need to go, just giving us a little service so we keep moving and keeping our feet down so we for God for anything that he drops on our heart each day. So thank you for joining me. We'll just do a little prayer to finish. We'll do our three out breaths. So join your hands up. And on the exhale, blowing out anything we don't want to need anymore. Lift and lengthen nice and tall. Deep inhale, stretch up nice and tall. Lift and lengthen. On the exhale, we'll bring the hands back down through prayer. Know the truth. Down to our forehead now, we honour the truth. Fingertips to the lips, we speak our truth. And hands to our heart center, we always feel love in our heart. Thank you again for joining me today. It's my prayer for you that you have a blessed day and that everything's going well for you. And if not, you know that open your Bible and just really just get into the Word of God. And there's always an answer for us in there just to know and to trust in our Lord and Savior and know that He loves us all. And he wants the best for us to live happy, long, healthy lives. So have a blessed day. I'm going to actually lie down here now and soak in this yummy worship song because it's my favorite at the moment. So I encourage you to join me. So I'm sorry the video is going to be of me here just soaking it in, maybe doing a gentle spinal twist too. But this is just making your practice yours. So enjoy.